Welcome to Crimson Tide Connection, where we visit with your favorite coaches and players. Today I'm joined by Coach Bramble, the head soccer coach for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Coach, you're 3-0 on the season. You came away from this past weekend with two victories, 2-1 two over Sanford, 4 to nothing over UAB. Let's talk about the Sanford victory on Friday night, your first home match. You came away with a victory. It was a good start, uh, especially being our home opener. Uh, you know, you want to make a good impression uh, to the to the fans. It's the first athletic event on campus. Um, you know, it was a big concert after the game, so we had a great crowd there. And um, you know, we wanted to really put on a good performance uh, to see what we were going to look like as a home team this year. And uh, pretty pleased with the way it turned out. Speaking of that crowd, you had 1,266 fans, the second largest crowd in school history. It's got to get you pretty excited. It's a great way to start the season for the first home match to have a crowd like that. Yeah, and that was certainly then that makes it even more important that we win because we want some of those people to come back. Um, but the thing that was, uh, you know, the most exciting about that crowd was uh, it was predominantly students. And, you know, we've, had, we've always had great support from the community, but uh, to see such a big group of students come out, a lot of the Crips and Chaos uh, club was, was there, and not just in numbers, but in enthusiasm too as well. Uh, they really, really did an outstanding job of creating a good environment. It was fun, uh, hopefully for them in the stands, but I know it made it enjoyable for the players, and then that really makes a difference. Uh, the and adrenaline and energy they add to the field for our team helps make a difference, and, I, and there's no doubt in my mind that they contributed to the, the win for us on Friday night. Let's talk about them contributing to the win. What did the girls say about that? They had to be excited about you know coming out there and that many people being there. It adds something to it. I mean, to know that they've got that type of support. You know, we're coming off a year where four sports here won, you know, national championships, um, and uh, you know, to, to, to you know, for our players to feel that type of support, uh, not just in numbers, but like I said too, you know, in the energy and enthusiasm. Um, not only does it make it enjoyable for us, but we also, you know, want it to work where we make it a little bit. It's a little bit hostile crowd too, where we make it miserable for our opponents, and uh, we had some of that too, which was fun. Speaking of uh, opponents, you traveled to uh, Birmingham on Sunday, took on the UAB Blazers. You defeated them four to nothing. What did you see from that match? Well, that was uh, that was fun as well, for, uh, being on the other end of a, of a good crowd because uh, the entire UAB football team uh, came right at kickoff, was there for the entire first half, and they were uh, into the game. It was loud. It was added some energy for their team and created a little bit of a hostile environment for us to play in, which I absolutely loved uh, because we needed to be able to, you know, still play well in that type of environment. Um, it really truly felt like a road game, uh, but I thought we controlled uh, uh, controlled possession, controlled the play of that game. Uh, we got another good goal in the first half. Pia Reisdijk uh, broke the ice late in the first half and then came out in the second half and ran away with it. Um, scored three more good goals and um, you know just coasted, coasted the victory in the end. Coach, your seven goals on this season uh, in the three games have come from five different players. You have to be pretty excited about the ball being spread around where you know, no team can kind of focus on one player on there. They're going to have to play uh, in honest defense. That's right, and that is you know going to be an asset for our team. Uh, a lot of the questions leading into the season was, who's going to score goals for you? And I never had an answer for that, but not in a bad way, in a good way, because we do have so many players that can step up at different times in different situations whether they're in the starting lineup or they're in the role of being a reserve player for us. We're getting contributions from everywhere right now, and I absolutely love it. Coach, you're out shooting your opponents 58 to 17 on the, on the young season. What does that number say to you? Well, that we're doing a good job of creating chances and you know, maybe only scoring seven goals out of 58 chances. Maybe we need to be a little bit better uh, in the final third, but that seems like that's always the last thing to come You know, as you build throughout a season is that sharpness. It's the hardest thing to do in our sport is to score goals. So, um, you know, we're... You know, we're not overly focused on, on that right now, but, uh, you know, 50, 58 shots, that means we're creating a good number of chances per game, and that's that's encouraging. I guess on the flip side of that, 17 shots for defense, we've got to be pretty excited about that. Yeah, we've, we've done a good job uh, because, you know, f from a commitment standpoint as a team, we've really worked hard to win the ball back quickly um, and, you know, when there's been a change of possession. So, you know, I think when you look at those 17 shots, you know, most people, the first thing you want to look at is our back line, but uh, it's really the people in front of them. And it starts up top with our attacking players to set the tone defensively of what we want to be like as a team this year. And, and our players have done a good job of that so far. Well, Coach, congratulations on starting the season 3-0. Uh, this week you'll take on South Alabama on Friday at 7 o'clock in, in Mobile. And on Sunday you'll take on Mercer at 1 o'clock in Tuscaloosa. Later on in the week, we'll have a preview of those matches. Thank you, Coach, for being here. For Coach Todd Bramble, I'm Chris Franklin, Crimson Tide Connection.